this is great. Joe, who'd ever thought a utility would be happy to see a meter spin backwards? That's right, Bev. Most folks don't know that we could use their help to provide energy for the whole region. The fact that every homeowner's roof can now generate electricity when we need it most is almost revolutionary. If only Ben Franklin could see us now. Ben Franklin, as in the founding father of America? Yeah, the fellow who discovered electricity. You know, the guy with the kite in the lightning storm? Woohoo! Hello down there! Did somebody say lightning? Ben Franklin? At your service. I wondered when you might come around to talk to me, Joseph. I see that you're finally starting to understand what I was trying to do that day in the thunderstorm. I was trying to see if I could put nature's raw power to work, just like you seem to be doing with that photovoltaic system down there. Very impressive. Why, thank you, Ben. In Roseville, we have a great green energy program that offers our customers the opportunity to purchase renewable energy. Energy that taps nature's forces. The Earth's heat, the sun's light, the wind, and even the power of moving water. Just like you wanted us to. I can show you right now if you're interested. You bet I am. And I know precisely how we can get there. Climb on board! Whoa, this is cool. Hold on, my boy! Catch up with you guys later! Skies. Whew, that was close. The power of lightning isn't to be taken lightly. <laughs> I hope everybody in your electric world is using the lightning rod I invented. Oh yeah, it's standard practice, Ben. All electricity is safely grounded thanks to you. But you know, Ben, a quarter of a millennium since your discoveries, we still haven't found a way to harness the power of lightning, although people are working on it. I imagine it's rather difficult, given the unpredictable nature of the beast. Yeah, but we have made great strides in making our own lightning using, well, I suppose you could call it kite power. Kite power? Ah, the power of the wind! Lifting kites, propelling balloons, blowing sailing ships across the ocean, and ahoy! Windmills to starboard! Oh, but these are quite unlike any windmills I've ever seen. They obviously aren't just pumping water or turning grain mills like in my day. No, Ben, they're... Wait, don't tell me! You said making lightning, creating electricity. But this is beyond the science of my day. How does it work? Well, Ben, in, in 1832, Michael Faraday in England and Joseph Henry here in America invented the dynamo, something we today call a generator. It's a way of using spinning magnets and a spindle of copper wire to push electrons into a flowing electrical current, the electrical fluid you discovered in 1747. Yes, I see it now. This incredible development would enable people to turn any form of mechanical energy, from the turning of those windmills or, or even a bicycle, into useful electric flow. Astounding! Yes, all we have to do is move a magnet through a loop of copper wire and we get electricity. For over a hundred years, we've been using steam from boiling water to do just that. The steam was generally created by burning wood, coal, oil, and gas to push a rotary turbine around and around, spinning the dynamo to make our electricity. But any force that can spin a wheel around will work. Wind energy is the fastest growing clean renewable energy source in the world today, Ben. Everywhere from the fields of Wyoming to the shores of England, wind farms are appearing. Modern wind turbines work on the same principle that worked in the windmills of your day. Wind turbines capture the wind's energy with two or three propeller-like blades, which are mounted on a rotor to generate electricity. The turbines sit high atop towers, taking advantage of the stronger and less turbulent wind at 100 feet, or 30 meters, above ground. For utility-scale sources of wind energy, a large number of turbines are usually built close together to form a wind farm. Several electricity providers today use wind farms to supply power to their customers. Today's wind turbines can be huge, Ben. They're so big that there's a staircase inside of the turbine tower. There are also smaller wind turbines that can be put to use just about anywhere that there's a good source of wind. Standalone turbines are typically used for water pumping or communications. However, homeowners and farmers in windy areas can also use the turbines to generate their own electricity. Well, that certainly was neat. I imagine if you can use a windmill to turn a dynamo, uh, generators you like to call it, you could use a water wheel to do the very same thing, couldn't you? Did anybody ever tell you you're a genius, Ben? Well, I... Come on. Let me show you how we use the power of water to make electricity.